All right, hello everyone, and welcome back to Cutabo Space Program, where today we are having a look at the Derivative Textures mod, which is being made by form user Robo Ray. And what this glorious little piece of work looks to add into the game is, well, Derivative Textures. Though to be a bit more specific, it's taking the Procedural Parts mod, as well as one of its texture expansions, specifically the main Sailor texture expansion, and basically trying to take related textures within those and build more aesthetically consistent sets using them. And it sounds a little strange saying it, so let's just actually go and take a look, because that makes a lot more sense when you do that. And let's first just kind of go and take a quick look at, of course, what we've looked at in the past with procedural parts and just the massive amount of different textures that we have, especially when you do add into the whole thing uh, one of the many texture expansions. Now again, like I said, this one specifically adds in the main Sailor texture pack and tries to look through it to find related similar looking textures that could be changed or combined to sort of make more consistent sets. Now to take a look at that, let's first actually go and uh, bring up my derivative texture ship here because, well, it's a lot easier to do this than to go through each and every single texture individually on here. And these are the current textures that the mod maker started with. These are between procedural parts and the uh, main Sailor texture pack. And we have a nice selection of different black stripes, checkerboard, solid black, and other various lines. And then an interesting color variant with a red stripe, but a red stripe that has a different design than others and then also a gray and green solid block and all of these fit quite nicely together but they're not consistent of course in their coloring and well we don't have say a gray version of this one up here or a green version of this and that's what Robo Ray tried to solve so if we actually go into sub assemblies here I've made various sub-assemblies for this. So let's start with the simplest of them and the black set. Now, of course, we have most of the textures here in black, except for this particular red one. And well, now, thanks to this, mo oh boy, I forgot that it rotate things. There we go. Now with this, we have that particular part in black. And so we have a full set from the larger stripes to the thinner stripes, the sort of singular stripe checkerboard, solid, thin little thing, a thicker thing and sort of tritone thing. I really don't know what else to call that. And we have it all in that black color. But hey, what if we wanted these same textures in that red? Well, we have that right here. We can pop that in now. And this one red texture has now become a full set of eight different textures. And then of course, well, we have that same gray, which we can now pop in and boom, there we go. All the same textures now in that particular gray color started as one and again, now turn to eight. And then we have the green one here, which bam, once more taking just the solid green one and extrapolating it out into eight different related textures. But well, what about other colors? And fortunately, the mod maker only adds one new one in a blue color, but I'd really, I really hope that maybe in the future we might get some more color variations of these. As I gotta admit, I've used procedural parts and the main Sailor texture expansion in the past because I actually really like these textures here. These default ones are all very good, but if you wanted to create a consistent aesthetic on your ship, it could be difficult, at least with color variation. But now we have sets of them in these various colors. Only five different color options. Again, I hope more might be added in the future. I'd love to see some other things in here. And maybe even potentially taking some of the other texture mods that are out there and pull something similar with this. I think that'd be quite cool. But for now, it does give us a number of nice color options to take these uh, default ones 
and make something a bit more with them, and I very much do appreciate that. But that really is all to talk about with this mod. Not a whole lot to go over. It takes these and turns them into sets of these, and that's about it. So if you'd like to have a look at this mod for yourself, which I would recommend you do, it's just a nice little mod, especially if you are using procedural parts, so you can get a little bit more variation. You can take a look at the link in the description as per usual, but that is gonna be it for today. I hope you all have enjoyed this short little video, and that you do come back for the next one. Hopefully, we'll be looking at yet another wonderful mod, but until that time, thank you for watching. Watching. And as always, have a good one!